To start this demonstration, we open Apex and click File Open. We double click on the folder name and then select the project.apex file and then click open again. Here we see the pre-built sub-assemblies with which we will demonstrate the effects of beam sections on stress distribution under different loads. For this demo, we have built two sets of different beam sections with the same area and length. There is a square beam with a cross-sectional area of 0.016 meters squared and a rectangular beam with a cross-sectional area of also 0.016 meters squared. We've made two copies of each so that we can compare the results of stress due to the same tension force being applied to the square beam and also the rectangular beam. We will also compare the results of stress due to the same bending moment applied to the square and rectangular beams. Like the previous beam demonstration, each subassembly consists of the beam, a part used as a tool to apply the load, and a block on which the constraints are applied. The three parts are glued together using the create glue option. For the tension case, the square beam and the rectangular beam are subjected to the same loading, a negative 5000 pascal pressure that translates to the beams being pulled by 50 newtons to get the beam in tension. For the bending case, we apply two 1 newton forces in opposite directions on our tool to emulate bending on the bars. With the length of the moment arm at 0.10909 meters, this translates to a bending moment of 0.218 newton meters acting on both bars. The model is ready to analyze, so let's run it. Right click on assembly on the model tree and select set analysis context. When Apex reports that there are no offenses identified and that the current analysis context is ready for submission to the solver, you can proceed to run the analysis by clicking on the yellow running man. Now that the analysis has completed, let's first take a look at the tension case for the two beams hiding all others. Click on the post tab and double click on static scenario assembly. In the model subsection, we hover over the visibility icon on assembly and select the empty box to hide all parts in the subassembly. Next, we hover over the rectangular tension beam and click on the check. And then we hover over the square tension beam and also click on the check. We press both buttons on the mouse to fit the model to the screen. This shows the two beams in their deformed shape as a result of tension. We can now show the fringe plot of the stresses by clicking the fringe icon. If we hover over the area of the spectrum, we see that we are viewing von Mises stress. Let's change this to X component. We notice that the values are close to theoretical, but most important, the stress between the two different cross sections are the same. Now let's compare the bending cases. In the model subsection, we hover over the visibility icon on assembly and select the empty box to hide all the parts in the subassembly. Next, we hover over the rectangular bending beam and click on the check. And then we hover over the square bending beam and also click on the check. Here we see the deformed shape of the bars in bending. And since the fringe plot is still set to X component, we see the compressive and tensile stresses on the beams and that the results of the two cross sections are quite different. This also matches our hand calculations.